Right, so up here, uh, can you see right there? That is where the valve is. You can see, hopefully, that it is pink on the outside. That is where it's leaking. And uh, I think there's, oh, there's not really residue down here. But yeah, that's where it's leaking from. And as you can see, it's a bit of a pick to get to. So I think what I'm gonna do is, I might actually have a look under the bonnet. I've seen everyone else get it from underneath. But on the S-Type R, <laughs> with the, or the Jack ones with the V8, you've got no space. I can barely fit my hand up in there. And there's nowhere else, anywhere else around here that I'm going to be able to get my hand in. So I'm going to have a quick look, see if I can take out the uh, coolant reservoir and access it from the top. Well, as you can see, under here really isn't much better. God, I'm not looking forward to this job. <laughs> my original plan was actually to try and clamp the hoses so I didn't lose any coolant. Because last time I changed the coolant, I, guess I had a right job bleeding it. And um, I can see me being here for a while. So, to undo the coolant reservoir, we've got one bolt there. I'll probably suck the coolant out of it. Um, there we are. You can see it's already below the. We've got a maximum and a minimum block. And we are literally just on the minimum. Um, I do have to keep topping it up, and I know that's where it's leaking from. So, I'll probably suck the coolant out, whatever coolant's in the reservoir. Uh, undo that bolt and then it's sort of there's two pins down here there's one there and one just below and it sort of comes out like that so uh, yeah first thing get this off um probably take this front cover off give me a bit more space drain the coolant out of the reservoir undo that bolt pull it out all right so screws out all the, there's a hose off there which is that one and there's one over here which is that one there and it still doesn't move there you can see the pipe just there with a little metal clip all right, so uh, that is coolant coming out, and out comes the reservoir, maybe? Maybe? Oh, there's a sensor on there, isn't there? Oh, there you go. Don't forget the little plug. There you go. The heater control valve is there, and uh, I'm just thinking, I might, now that I've lost all that coolant, I might as well undo this hose, that hose, and uh, to be honest, that there looks like it's on a rubber mount, so I could probably move that out of the way, and hopefully that'll give me enough access. Uh, I've got this top hose off, I've got the hose off for this water pump, and uh, so I can get to the valve nice and easy now. One thing I have just noticed is this bracket here that holds all of this on, uh, there's a bolt missing right there. So uh, I'm going to undo that bolt, see whether I can move it out of the way, and that should give me enough access to my, there we are, pink leaky valve. I've unbolted that from the one bolt that was still in it, moved it out of the way, and uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to see it on the camera, but right in the bottom corner here, there is, which is basically there, that's sitting in there like that at the moment. So right here, there is what looks like, is that a 10 mil? I think it's a 10 mil screw so this hose which is the one that feeds that valve is the one that's kept on the bottom of this um housing i think what i might end up doing you can see clamp on there i can now get to these access those uh, clips easy enough and uh, this is perfect tool for doing the job if you're going to do this job i highly recommend you invest in one of these if i do that you can see really close how that works and there's a little lock there for it so you can squeeze the clip and it's locked in place i can let go of that and it keeps the clip locked and then we go just on the very useful tool all right that was not easy but the hoses are all off and out comes the valve oh the state of that Yeah, definitely time for a change. You can see where it has been leaking. It's been leaking quite bad, actually, a bit worse than I thought. But never mind, it's out. All I've got to do now is put the new one in. I've also got to do the blower belt at some point as well, so I am guarantee most of this stuff's gonna have to come back off to do that anyway, because the tension now for it is there. And if I'd thought about it, I would have ordered the parts and done it all in one go. But I didn't think about it, so 
we'll do this and then we'll worry about that on another day. Uh, so I'm going to put the camera down to put that back in because like I said it is really really fiddly and uh, you may all learn some new words if I don't. So I'll do that and then I'll show you the process putting it back together and bleeding it. Oh, after a fight, it is in. Uh, a fight and some rather nasty marks on my arm. Uh, got it caught on the edge of the fan cowling there. But it is in. I also noticed, I need to get new, I need to put new anti roll bar bushes in. I've got them. And what I didn't realise is now would be the best time to do it because there's all the access to it. But hey, hindsight's great, isn't it? Right, so everything is now back together. So we've got this screw here to bleed the reservoir. You've got two, there's one there, little one there, one little one there on the supercharger, and then there's a big one here on the supercharger. But you want to make sure you've got coolant in these, and uh, then we'll run up to temperature. And hopefully we won't have what I had last time, which was an airlock and overheating. Right, so we are pretty much just on, well, we're pretty much where the maximum block is. So again, you've got maximum this side, minimum this side. And that's all full up, so we'll put the screw back in there. And just tighten it up. There's an electric uh, water pump, which is that thing that was down the front here. I think it was down right there in my way. So I put the ignition on, I should then be able to crack off that one, that one, and that one and have coolant come out of there without losing too much from here. Right, so you can hear the buzzing down there. I can hear a lot of air going through. So if I undo, oh there you go, you can see we've got we've got a flow out of that one already. That's good. And then we'll just crack this one off over here. Oh yeah, and again you can see we've already got coolant coming out of there. So that's that one. Start to see some coolant flowing out of there. Oh, there we got the air coming. There we go, there's the coolant. Ignition off. Get that back up. Here's a tip for you. So this is a 19 mil hex. And if you don't have one, I found a, this is a um, Irwin socket for undoing rounded and round, rounded nuts and bolts and broken studs and I lit because it's the actual hex on it doesn't leave anything it leaves very little exposed so I just found a little random bit of plastic and uh, put it underneath to raise it up a bit so I can get my spanner on top tip Mark's top tip maybe we should have that as a new section of my channel so in theory then, everything here is bled. The only thing I've got left to do is to run the engine with the heater on to make sure we've got best flow. I'll top up the uh, coolant in a moment as well. Uh, I've been running for uh, a couple of minutes. You can see the temperature gauge is now at about a quarter. Uh, the heater, I've actually got the temperature set to high at the moment, fans on number three. And in here we've got 40 degrees, 38, 39, and 32, 33. 